All right, so we're here with Megan Fitch of Alamo Volleyball. Uh, big win this morning, and I've heard your name a lot this week, so you have been crushing this tournament. Talk about how you played. I think I really just played like we came here. Um, we won nationals last year, and we came here like so excited to win again. And honestly, I feel like there's still a fight in me to win again. So I feel like I've just been pushing really hard to win, I guess. When you got on the map last year, you know, nationals MVP. You know, um, what, talk about your game and maybe the strengths of your game. Is it your all around play? Honestly, I think so. I think my service team is really good. Um, I think my <laughs> I think my line shot is really good. I mean, I feel like a lot of people know I can hit line. Um, honestly, whenever, I feel like when I play the best is when I have the most confidence going up, for sure. And I feel at Nationals, I was not scared at all and I had so much confidence out on that court and that. Well, and talk about that confidence because coaches talk about it a lot. Playing at that next level, you have to be able to play with confidence and have the skill. So talk about how that might help you at the next level. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, the first time I went to NTDP, I was so nervous right. because you're around like the best players ever. So I was like, oh my gosh, like these people are amazing. And then the next time I met a lot of friends and I, I thought I did really well because I just like, I feel like it helps you do better because you know you're not going to mess up or it's okay if you mess up. Right. So yeah, that's my whole mentality now. <laughs> so talk about coming into national. Has it been a lot with your recruitment still open, concentrating on winning a championship, but also you have to be thinking about that big decision. Has that weighed on you a little bit? I mean, I think the first couple of weeks it did, I was like, everyone's committing, um, yeah. I have to commit, but a lot of my colleges are like, you're fine, like, take your time, and then my mom was just like, you need to get this off your mind and focus on nationals, and I was like, yeah, so it completely, like, obviously I'm still thinking about it, right. but it's like in the back of my head right now. So yeah. you've kind of been, put it, been able to put it off to the side. Yeah, I'm going to get a reality check when I come out of here, but it's all right. <laughs> You'll have a couple voicemails, you think? Oh my gosh, I had one voice man. It's so cool because I've never gotten a voicemail before and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> well, that's great. It was a good experience. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what's important to you. Have you narrowed your schools down? Where, if you don't mind, like where are you at? I definitely have a top six. I feel like I've been really open because I don't know where God wants to take me. And honestly, wherever place I feel like it feels right in my heart, I feel like that's where I'm supposed to be. Um, so I definitely want to visit the school first. I wouldn't say I want to wait till August, but I feel like it's different with every school, honestly. Right. Yeah. So so how do you manage that if you don't get on campus? Like, how do you think you could get a feel if you maybe don't take an official? Honestly, go to their camp. I think I'm going to a couple of camps this summer just to like get a feel of what their coaches are like. Um, I think that's huge. I definitely don't want to commit to a school that I don't know what it looks like because right. I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Especially the weather, I'd be like, oh, it's hot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for sure, I definitely want to at least go to a camp or something. So do you mind asking like where you're going? Like, do you have camps set up? Yeah, I have two camps set up this week. So I'm saying in <laughs> Illinois. Wait, <Kay>. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Notre Dame in Illinois this week. Wow. Um, and then I think my camps are really open. My mom, me and my mom are trying to figure out dates and everything, but yeah. So you're going to kind of tour the U.S. camping, right? I'm just going to go around the world, you know. <laughs> yeah. okay. So what's important to you? You know, you talk about um, what maybe would make that decision. You talk about, you know, getting the feeling, you know, and it's yeah. right. But, but will it maybe be coaches, program, how you get along with the, the players, yeah. facilities? What, what are a couple things that are important to you? For sure, I think it's coaches. I think that's huge. Um, just having a connection with them, I love that so much. Um, because they're like your best friend, and I love it. Um, especially meeting the commits, I think that's huge. I love meeting the commits because then you get like a feel for what they kind of look for in like their players. Right. right. So yeah, I think that's huge. Um, the program, I've had a lot of thought on like if I want to be first or if I want to be next. Right. And I don't know what I want to be honestly. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I think you bring up a great point, right? Because yeah. there are some that are like, you talk about, they want to be next, right? And they want to, you know, maybe they have the goal of, hey, I want to compete for a national title every year. Yeah. Or do I want to be a program changer? Yeah, for sure. That's what I've been thinking about all the time. I'm like, I don't even know what I want to do. And I'm like, 
Bro, I'm literally just letting God decide it because <laughs> I seriously don't know where my heart is at right awesome. now. What, what about education academics wise? Have you thought about that at all? What do you Have you thought about a major or? I mean, I definitely, I've had this little dream when I was a kid. I wanted to be a vet. So if they have a vet program after school, I know that's after school, so that doesn't really matter. But I would love that so much. Um, so yeah, whatever lets me be a vet, like if they let me go into that major. Are you a dog lover then? I can't say. I have two dogs and two cats. But like, I love my dogs a lot, but I love my cats. I think I'm just an animal lover. That's awesome. Because I love their like personalities. I think it's so cute that their personality can fit in like a little, a little bear or something. Well, if you and I start talking dogs, this interview will go on for 20 minutes. So, for real. <laughs> oh, for real. So, thank you so much for your time. We'll follow your, uh, we'll follow your process, and best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Yeah.